Okay, so we're here practicing the human chess. Just basically now just putting it, trying to put it all together. Uh, no focus on any real theories or concepts now. It's just a matter of the feel of the game. Because we've done it to death, all of the maneuvers, the reasons why we do these types of um, maneuvers. Now let's just have a look at the feel. Let's just go for the feel of the game. So by now it should be more a subconscious type of movement, a natural type of movement. If we make a mistake, we make a mistake, that's fine. The feeling was wrong at that point. So then we, we adjust and try and get those feelings in there, get those emotions in there, get the human factor in there so that it's you playing the game, not historical games of um, X, Y and Z. Let's just um, develop the night here, feeling okay with that. Don't need to go through any rationales as to why you're doing the moves. Your feelings should be improving every time you play in the game if you're looking to improve that is it doesn't work if you're just playing games and you're not really wanting to develop um, it definitely won't work then if you're looking to improve and you you've been evaluating your games you've been using your own version of a type of answer um, process to help develop your game then this type of situation will help you if I think try to humanize it a little bit oh dear I don't know Bishop has to go back there um, yeah so try and humanize it or oh, they've resigned okay so in this case here we could talk it through because we were pushing ourselves to go with the feeling of the game not looking at any set type of maneuver and um, we've done them to death so Hopefully we were getting better positions as we were going through, but humanizing it, going for the feel, going for the sensitivity of, of your play, then really brings in your own individual thought process rather than relying on listening to um, masters talk about how to play the game or uh, coaches telling you how to play your game. At the end of the day, you are the one that is actually going to be playing the game. So as far as the assistance goes from anyone else regarding coaching, regarding masters giving information out, um, like it's the law, there is no law. The only law is that you have to humanize your game, humanize it for yourself, really get in there and look at the sensitivities that you you like to play. Look at your own game, improve your own game, and then it will become a natural naturalness and then you can play your beautiful chess the way that you want to play it, not how you're being told how to play it by somebody else.